Hi, Kathy here from Kathy's Cute Creations. Today we're going to do block number three, which is the block of the month for March, and it is called Picture Frame. So let's get started. All right, you're going to need two fabrics. The first is a eight and a half by eight and a half inch square. <clears throat> that would be this one here. You can make it out of your light, your dark, your medium. It doesn't make any difference. I kind of fussy cut it because I wanted that big flower in it since it's a picture frame. Then you're going to need two and a half by eight and a half, two of those. And then you're going to need two, two and a half by 12 and a half. And that's all we need. Cut those strips out and that square and let's begin sewing. First I pin corner to corner. So I pin the left hand corner, then I pin the right hand corner. And then I go into the middle of my fabric and pin it. So I put three pins in it. If you feel like you need more, that's fine. Alrighty, let's begin. Remember, we don't need to lock the fabric when we start out, and we're doing a quarter of an inch. probably one of the easiest blocks we're gonna make. Thought maybe it would give you a breather from the last block. Couple blocks. Ouch. I'm having a little bit of trouble pulling that pin out, so that's why I have my foot lifting up when I stop. Alrighty. Now we'll just press these, and then I'll be right back. Now when I pin this side, I start at the corner, and I go ahead and I pin it. And then I go right here to where the seam is at and my seams went in so I turn it towards the inside and I put a pin in there so that it's holding that and I go to the other end <clears throat> and I pin it whoops Missed my pin there. Go to the seam. Put a pin in there. And then I put two in here. I go about to the middle. And I go to the left of the middle. And then the right of the middle. If you want to put one in the middle, that's fine. So you end up with that many. Okay. So. No.
If you didn't want to fussy cut this, you could have actually take that eight and a half inch square and you could have done a applique in the middle of it. Just be sure and keep away from the quarter inch all the way around the square if you want to do an applique of some sort. This is for yourself. You could have put your last name, your initial, anything would have worked. All right, let's go to the other side. We're just about finished. like I didn't quite get that corner maybe I did all right so let's go over to the ironing board I'm gonna um, remind you of something now remember when you iron you're wanting to set your seams and that is relaxing them let's do both of these okay and then we're going to Make sure that the seams went the correct way. Okay, they wanted to go out on that. And that's it. All the seams are, whoops, there we go, laying down fine. And there's your block. And it's like a picture right inside of a picture frame. All right? Okay, there's, okay, there's what the block looks like. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that block, and I hope you've attempted to make the last two and you're keeping up. That's why I'm trying to do them once a month so that you've got time to do them. If you don't want to do them, that's fine. You can do something else. I'm throwing a couple other things in there that you might want to add to this. So uh, next time, we'll do the month of April. Take care. Bye-bye.